Well, boys, today is tomorrow, and uh, Wings, uh, you know, the page five, boy. We all know that Wings of Redemption loves himself some uh, BBC trans people, all right? We all know of Wings of Redemption's favorite nightly routine, and today someone decided to confront Wings on how does he like, you know, trans corn but for some reason he's always talking down to the trans community while also touting himself as a liberal all right he's very libertarian the way that he you know carries himself other than you know talking about the trans community so last night on lower cow live whenever they were doing recruitment challenges for a new host i probably should have went up there i would have i would have had a damn standing ovation if i went on <laughs> lower cow live they would have been clapping the whole time just like yes yes he needs to be the host but sadly i didn't get an invite nor did i <laughs> Become a member of the Lower Cow Live. You know, the five dollars are quite tight around here. But if you guys want to get me five dollars a month, don't forget to join. Or, you know, don't forget to give me a super thing. But yeah, last time on the Lower Cow Live, they had on a person that, you know, they thought was gonna be, you know, wanting to host Lower Cow Live. But instead she wanted to confront Wings of Redemption on how he treats people that he enjoys jacking it to. Al, you're live on the show. You wanna turn your camera on? Hi. It's a grill. You're muted. I think you have to unmute and then you'll be good to go. There we go. Hi. I'm not here to try out for any uh, membership thing or, or hosting any anything like that. I'm just saying, like, I find it interesting, Wings, that you um, very much, like, enjoy trans women, but you don't respect them as people. And as a trans woman myself, I find that interesting. So I'm just like wanting to confront you on that honestly now i want to be honest whenever i saw this part i was just dying because i was like the wings has to be swaying he's like please i don't want to get canceled even though i'm pretty sure he knows like he's uncancelable all right wings could probably go out today and do a uh chris tyson and as long as he gets on stream the next day hit them donos are gonna be going off all right <laughs> he's gonna be making some money but you know what i think wings actually uh responded great even though I'm pretty sure it was in a half joking manner. <laughs> but I think Re I think Wings carried himself great in this conversation. Wings wanted to make sure it was loud and clear. Get it twisted. He loves himself some trans women. No, 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 no. Here's what you understand. Okay. I don't I would never date a trans woman. Right. Or be with a trans woman. I just like manly looking women. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Bro, look at Boogie. <laughs> Boogie's just like, brother, bro, brother, brother, what is going on? Boogie's just like, just as long as it ain't me, just keep keep the heat off of me. <laughs> Boogie's just sitting there, man. Right? He's like, I don't know what's going on, but it's my time to <laughs> shut up. And just allow the content to flow. So I just noticed that on your streams in the past that you've like referred to trans women as she males and like men and like have purposely like misgendered other trans women. So I've just I'm just oh, curious, like you say uh, you respect here, here, here's stuff, the thing. I, I come actually from, like I come from... so infatuated with making them like a fetish object. I'm just curious like where do no, you no, no, see no, no, that no. line? No. I'm I just could care curious. less about chicks with actual dicks. Okay. But I I don't Ooh. also don't care about being like like that whole cancel culture war. Like we used to call each other gay when I was in middle school. Like you're gay dude and shit like that. And like, I use what words I learned as I grew up. I don't try to like center around like, is this gonna hurt somebody's feelings or not? See, I think Wings actually, you know, carried himself well right there. But then obviously this person was just like, you know what? <laughs> Let's continue digging his grave. Come on. There has to be some gold in here somewhere. He has to freak out at some point. But I mean, like, Wings is literally a, a, a very soft rock, all right? He may be a rock, but, you know, still soft and gelatinous. But, you know, rocking the same. The man's mental, when he's not on his own stream, is strong. I don't know what happens between Wings getting on his own stream and getting on Lower Cow Live, but as soon as he gets on Lower Cow Live, that man becomes a mental rock. He knows exactly what to say to make sure he's like, nope, you ain't catch me. Mm -mm. I, mm, you ain't catch me. No, nope, not at all. Okay, sure. I would just like to see you in the future when you're on stream and you notice that your chat is being transphobic. You should probably do something about that because you are like jerking off to people like me. So I would just like, you know, no, if you're, no, no, no. you're going to do be, that, let, let's and you're going to come to people let's be like fair. me, you should saying, probably stop the chat from being You're saying something without any proof. 
I don't need to have proof that you jerked off the trans woman. It's there. And I don't need to have proof whether you cummed or not. You just, I don't care if you did. I don't give a shit. You assume that I was holy while looking at it. Does that mean like Boogie did his whole life? Did he jerk off everything he did when he made websites? I have no fucking clue. I would probably guess so. I mean, could it be a possibility if somebody just so. sent me a fucking link? It's possible, but at the same time, if it's uh, in your see, search history and you're talking about how you like certain kinds of women and stuff yeah, like but that, did you, you're I also, don't understand you're also, how you you're can't... Also not including that I've showed sure. my history for like a year. Uh, uh, real quick, like the only real quick I have an important announcement. Uh, the Olympic boxer known as Chris Tyson has been hired! <laughs> Wings, oh wings, wings, welcome to the new co-host. <laughs> no, I would not take this job. I'm sorry. I have like, I don't know. I couldn't self-respect. So having this person essentially rejected the offer of becoming a host of the local live stream, which, you know, bless their soul because they actually have more than self-respect. All right. They probably actually have a real life job. <laughs> But also, just like in general, like imagine coming up here doing like the best out of everyone. Like out of everyone, I would say this person probably did the best. Tr not even trying to become the host, she did the best with making content out of <laughs> almost nothing. So, so basically, this person continues to like call out wings. Like, why don't you ever stop people in your chat, huh? How come you never just you know moderate your chat since you're talking this highly about not wanting anyone to be hated in your chat? And you're this amazing libertarian, but for some reason you always want to give in to the trolls, but you never want to read the chats of the people that actually like you. And then they always say heinous things, and you just allow them to say heinous things, and you never clean up your chat at all. But yet here on the podcast, you're able to make all these wild promises that you never keep. I don't allow like any kind of like hatred towards other people in my chat, because I don't believe in hating other people based on their creed choices or anything like that. If you want to do what you want to do, as long as you do it without hurting other people, I don't give a fuck. That's the libertarian side of me. Like, and I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to hate this person because they want to go do things. If you, if it's a dude that wants to be a female, I've had it, Hoss. That's your life. You do what makes you happy. And because I use words wrongly doesn't mean that I'm hating on you. Because, like, when I was young, like, like the whole thing, like, we called them hermaphrodites when we were younger. And then it became she-males. Then it became trannies. Then it became transvestites. And then it's like there's all kinds of, like, different levels of it, right? There's like some dudes call it sissy and some people call it like um like transgender and all this other stuff. I heard that. Like there's so many fucking levels. Sure. I mean, as a trans person myself, I'm very familiar with my history and the terminology and all that stuff. So right, right, right. But you but you you're you're you're, you're, you're sure. getting upset at me because I'm using older oh, no. terminology and Look. not updating it to current time. I, I am a little nervous and a little anxious just because, like, you have a huge crowd and all that stuff. But and they're all actually, wings. Like, all wings fans are transphobic. They all hate trans. <laughs> all Every single one of them. I don't hate like I don't hate wings or anything, or anything like that. I would just like to see him actually like take that priority to do that because if you're gonna say that to me. You're like you don't interact with your chat very much, and anytime you do, you only like react to the troll chats. I slay girl, chats slay before. girl, slay right. girl. <laughs> there are people in your chat who are nice to you and kind to you, but it seems like you want to interact with mostly the trolls because you know that that's like clip content. And I'm not saying that you're purposely feeding into it. It's just a cycle that's gone on for so many years. Because I've been like following you since like 2020 when lockdown happened. My brothers and I would sit down in the basement late at night just watching clips of you and like we would just laugh and we we're just like this is insane so just following you after all this time it's like crazy that i'm interacting with you and confronting you on this shit well, because it's like crazy to me for, that you want to yeah sorry go for, ahead so after this king started basically decides to continue poking the baby he's like you know what wings i think maybe you should go on a date i think you should go on a date with a trans person and obviously we all know Wings trying to weasel his little way out of it. He's like, no, I can't do it. I'm married. Like, brother, as if we care. I'm sure Keemstar could put up more than enough money for Wings to be like, fine. I'll go on a date. <laughs> He'll leave that ring at home so quick. I'm like, we already know Kelly don't care. She'll probably just be like, eh, screw it. Just as long as you bring home some kind of money at the end of the day. For, for Boogie's punishment, he must go on a date with a large woman and make it to first base. For Wings' punishment, he must go on a date with a trans woman and go all the way home.
Hell no, I'm married. I don't think, <laughs> I'm not yeah, even planning to get I don't, married. I, I don't am have married. Any, I just, wings, I think that if you, like, if there was ever a punishment to be suited for wings or anything like that, I think a donation of some of his money from Locale Live to a trans youth organization or to a trans healthcare organization is good. I'm not saying you have to do that. that shit? I'm not saying, I'm, hey, I didn't say you had to. I'm just saying that that's something you can, can do. Can I ask you a question? Have you seen... Um, did Jordy leave? Did he leave? Did you just body him? I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, did you, did you happen to watch the Chris Tyson, um, drama with, uh, Mr. Yeah, Beast and all yeah. that? Yeah, it's gross. Honestly, it's super gross. Chris what Tyson, do you, or what not, do you not Chris Tyson, that's dead naming. Ava, Ava Tyson. What um, do you think Chris Tyson's role, naming. what do you think Chris Tyson's role should be with Mr. Beast? I mean, honestly, I just think that Ava's role should not be affiliated with the company. I think Ava's, Ava's role is sexual predator. That's so, what it should be. So she should yeah. go? I think I don't think that she should be employed at that business. No, I. Okay. So after Keemstar basically kicked this person that was making the best content on the stream, by the way, I'm just saying this was literally the best content. I just wanted her to continue on <laughs> yelling at wings over different trans stuff. I, I love seeing wings squirm. And then obviously after she left, you know, wings, he, he started to buck up. He's like, I ain't, I ain't getting rid of none of my money. Wings don't depart with no money unless there's food involved. <laughs> Came in here wanting me to be upset about me mis like mislabeling motherfuckers. And then she accused me of wanting to spend cash. Wings don't debate with no cash. Cash does not part with wings. I mean, I did donate four thousand dollars to a cancer charity. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. And probably, I'll donate a picture of my fucking ass to a By the way, but this isn't where it's gonna end because Wings loves running his mouth for some reason. He made a suggestion that, mm, I mean, for the podcast, I guess I could go on a date with a trans person. I mean, like, it's for the podcast, though, boys. Obviously, I don't want to go on a date with a trans person at all. But for the podcast, I will. <laughs> I just like how he will explain away page five all together, right? He'll be like, no, someone sent me a link and I accidentally clicked it. But also, I mean, like, for the podcast, if you wanted me to, I'm like, shit, I, 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 I'm, I'm down. I mean, like, is there set up the date, Keen? I'm like, shh, I mean, we, we could film it too, I guess. But, you know, it's just for the podcast, not for my own personal experience to see if I like it or not. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go as far as Keen, but, like, if 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 they wanted to film what up? something for Locale Live of me going on a date with, like, a trend, like a transsexual person with no, like, touching or kissing... I would do that okay hold on so you're down to go on a date with a shemale no, bbc i don't i don't give a fuck what race they are well it like, would have to be it has to the description of page five would have to match your date i mean like it it, it like it's all code words it's like shemale bbc blowjob <laughs> what you want is that what gets you going it's a fucking click boogie. Like I clicked it somewhere. <laughs> Why? Were you, I mean, oh my did you Lord. finish? Did you finish? Oh, I never started. What's up, Saint? Dick doesn't work. I well, boys, I think we know what we need to do. We need to just spam the local live Twitter and the stream chat. We need to get this date happening. This can't just be a fleeting thing. All right, boys. We cannot have this as a just. Oh yeah. At, at one point, yeah, I said up there as a joking thing that I would go on a date. No, we need this. We need the evidence. We need video proof. We need wings to be right there on the date, smiling ear to ear. Just like, oh my God, I'm happier than my, whenever I'm with my wife. We need one that is an extremely feminine uh, BBC woman. All right, an extremely feminine transgender woman. We need her to make this man happy. I need to see this relationship blossom. I know one thing, Wings will go from hating the podcast to now loving it. Click this video right here to see why does Wings of Redemption hate the Low Cow Live podcast. But other than that, boys, don't forget to like, comment.